I mean, what do you think about um, the government having renovated many of Gibraltar's estates but not having included chimneys in there? That's that, that's 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 that is horrible. That is a terrible idea. Yeah, but so, you might not even fit so down the chimneys. So that is a bit of an issue. Guys, guys, guys this is obviously a very serious issue. issue. Yeah, yeah, so we try and keep it one at a time. So that is now, for this year, a very serious issue. Now, So now, how will Santa give the presents to everyone? Well. If we don't have chimneys, he doesn't get he doesn't climb in through windows, he doesn't get in through doors. So how else is he gonna get? I think through DHL or UPS. I mean, yeah. new that technology could be, that stuff. That could be <laughs> I mean, you guys probably wouldn't agree with me, but UPS and DHL is probably the best way to go. Or FedEx. FedEx. Or FedEx. Or FedEx. <laughs> Christian has mentioned some of the private courier companies, but wouldn't you say that the Gibraltar Elf Authority has done a very good job so far? I mean, throughout the years, the Gibraltar Elf Authority has been the top sort of courier for for all of the gifts. I mean. How could they replace them? It, and they never they, fail to. You have they're to always on time. Yeah. Always. They're always 20th, 25th. Oh. You wake up and they're, they're there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they never fail. How that can we know us. that these private companies won't, will, will fi will, won't fail us? Mm. That, that is, of course, if Santa's stuck at the border, oh. then you need the authority. Not, yeah. And if you don't have a chimney. That's if you have a chimney, true. then just you know, Santa and Rudolph all the way.